We're broadcasting live today from F1 in Braintree. We're here at uh, Scari's Restaurant. Come on down. Uh, we have a book signings going on here, and uh, we, the, the place is starting to fill up. People are running around on the uh, go-kart track, and the, again, there's all sorts of uh, other games. Eric, you're next with Howie Car. Go ahead, Eric. Business is good for you these days, isn't it? It is good. It's real good. It this couldn't day. have been a better time yeah. book release for you. And Whitey Bulger, who stole... Tens of millions of dollars, I think it's safe to say. Tens of millions of dollars. And he was found with uh, eight hundred, more than $800,000 in, uh, in, in his apartment at the time of his arrest. He says that he, too, is indigent. And, uh, and, and, Bill, and apparently uh, Billy Bulger is going, who, me? Who, me? Yeah, sure, Billy Bulger's going to... But like, like I said in my column the other day, Billy Bulger tosses around nickels like they were uh, manhole covers. So uh, it's a very small city here in Boston, isn't it? It's a incestuous yes. little pool. Six degrees of Whitey Bulger here is what we've got. <laughs> Do we, we actually have someone in the room who went to a reform school with Whitey. Yeah, he didn't. I invited him to come up and join us. He, he, he said he didn't want to. He's a little younger than Whitey, and he said that Whitey was, uh, Whitey was never uh, really uh, a, a, a fighter. He was a kind of a sneaky guy, you know, one of those uh, sucker punch type guys. And he was all his eyes were always darting around, and he was keeping an eye on things. Was That's a, a shocker that he's a sucker punch type of guy. Didn't he surround himself with suckers <laughs> to do all of his bidding for him? I think he did. Yes.